Hey, what's up, you guys? I am back. Now I'm about to show you some kill confirmed on Prison Break, but I wanted to talk about a specific topic, and this video is perfect for this topic. I want to talk about Floyd Mayweather. Yes, I said money, Floyd Mayweather. I had someone tweet me, and they said, you are the Mayweather of camping. <laughs> now, some people may take that the wrong way. Some people may understand. Like, I had somebody, and I was going back and forth, you know, a little Twitter banner with a few different people. And they were talking about how boring his last fight was. And I'm thinking, man, you guys are casual fans. I've been watching Floyd for a very long time. I actually enjoy boxing. Now, I didn't say brawling, but most people want to brawl. I find most people that don't like Floyd Mayweather, they don't like him for a couple reasons. I, I, I broke it down to three reasons. One, some people just think he's so arrogant. I mean, it just comes down to that. They don't like the fact that he's arrogant. But once again, this is a man that's dominated his division for 18 years. No one has come even close to beating him. Two, they're Filipino. I mean, let's be real. A lot of people just don't like him because they're Manny Pacquiao fans. Really love Manny Pacquiao. Followed his career. Great story behind him. He is definitely the people's champ. But he's not as technically sound as Floyd Mayweather. Let's keep it real. He took some risk and got Pacquiao. Y'all remember that. And the third, he's boring. Now, I find the people that call him boring they're what I call the, the super casual fans, not even a casual boxing fan. These are the type of fans that never watch boxing. They wait for a Floyd fight to come on, and then they expect him to Mike Tyson punch, knock someone out. Yeah, that's not how Floyd play. Now, real quick in the game, look how I play. My ID went off. I can hear them sound horn. Look, I'm sitting there. Look, he denied the tag. I know he's coming. I just wait for him and lay him down. That was a Floyd move. Now, watch when I set the sign mess down. This is a Floyd move. I didn't go after that second tag. Why take any risk? We're already up 11 to 2. That tag can sit back there's cheese. I have an IMS. And now I'm sitting back here in this corner being defensive. Now let's get back to the Floyd thing. Now, a lot of people that call him boring. These are the type of fans that never watch football until the Super Bowl come on. That's the type of fans that find him extremely boring. Now I know some of you guys may be boxing fans. You'd be like, oh, I don't like him. But I don't think you like the technical aspects of boxing. I was looking at the statistics from this last fight against Berto. Where people were saying it was boring. I actually enjoyed the fight. And I was looking at the, the punch statistics after the game. Okay, Berto, he threw more punches. He threw 495. Floyd threw about 400. Now, here's the alarming statistic. Berto landed like, what, 16, 19% of his punches or something ridiculous. Like, I think it was like 16%. He landed like 80 punches. Floyd Mayweather landed almost 60% of his punches. He hit that man 200 and something times. And people can't seem to appreciate that. You know, people find Floyd to be boring, but to me... It's a technical sport, but people want brawling. I'll give you an example of some great champions who will never get the respect because people want them to be Mike Tyson's. Now, let me um, remind you, Mike Tyson got beat by some very technical boxers. Floyd, I mean, uh, Vander Holyfield. Lennox Lewis, when Lennox Lewis knocked him out, I was laughing. Now, there's a big difference between Lennox Lewis and Floyd Mayweather. They both are technical fighters. The only difference is Lennox is a huge man. He can, when you're a heavyweight, you don't even have to hit someone with a full punch to knock him out. Floyd, it's a little different. Now, let's take Lennox Lewis. As boring as he was, no one can stop him. He used his length, he used the jab, he jabbed you to death, and then he eventually took the fight with a knockout late, probably late in the fight. It was never early knockouts like Mike Tyson, but Mike Tyson couldn't figure him out. Now, you look at the Clinchco brothers. These guys are the same way. These guys are the most technical fighters. They're really tall, 6'6", six, 6'8". Six, six, they use their length so shorter boxers can't get in, and they jab them to death. Is that the most exciting style? No, but it's very effective and technical. Now, look at all these turds. They're all standing around me, and I'm laying right there, and they don't see me, turds. They deserve to get laid down. Now, that's what I find I have in common with Floyd when it comes to Call of Duty. I enjoy the technical aspects of this game, hitting the right angles, using the right equipment, using the right setups, and I have fun. Now, I know a lot of people have a hard time with this. If you guys can see the comments I get, now, I have close to 300 videos now. So people comment on videos from a year ago. Like, I still have people arguing about videos that I've forgotten about. And, you know, it's always the same thing. How can you have fun just sitting in one spot? And I'm like, because I'm laying people down. <laughs> like, for me, it's fun. I love the challenge of that. You know, the fact that I jumped off this hill because I, I knew they knew where I was at. That's the one thing that I do. People, I'm not hiding. You know where I'm camping. That's not like I'm one of these guys sitting in the corner and taking you out. I'll go get an area, claim that area, um, make it a no-rush zone, and challenge you to come get me. You're not going to come get me. But that's what I feel. I am the Floyd Mayweather of Call of Duty. And if you're bored by that, okay, I can respect that. I can understand that, but I'm still going to let you down, and I'm not going to change my play style. 
You know, and don't get me wrong, sometimes I rush just because I feel like it. Sometimes I snipe just because I feel like it. I just like the defensive aspect of this game. I like the challenge of learning the spawns. When I play a game, I really like to know where the spawns were. When I first played and I sucked, it's because one, I didn't understand map flow. Two, I didn't understand spawns. Three, I didn't have the right setup. So I remember my son used to laugh at me because I wouldn't change my perks. Like I would play with the default loadout of the gun and I'm like, why change it? Like I really didn't get it. And then I start realizing how important things like forward grip are, having the right sight, things of that nature. You know, and it, it totally changed my game. And this is what I've been showing you guys now for about a year and a half, almost two years now. We didn't did it in Ghost. We didn't did it in Advanced Warfare. We didn't started it in Black Ops 3. Now, I do have a couple Black Ops 2 videos, but not a lot, just because I don't play that game that often. And I did have some older videos that I put from my old channel. If you go back to when this channel first started, because I had an old, older channel, but with Black Ops 2... I really wasn't trying to perfect camping like I did in Ghost. Black Ops 2, I actually enjoyed trolling more. It was something about C4 sandwiches or riot shields. It was just a fun game to troll, even with bouncing beddies and smoke. Even when I do get on there on the rare occasion, I like to throw shock charges and bouncing beddies everywhere just, just to do it. I don't know. I feel like the, the most try-hard players ever were on that game. You had these turds with the sniping and this and he's want to be. Look at this. A guy finally quit out. Now, this is what I tell people. This team is getting wrecked. Look at that. I'm 34 and 0 with little to no effort. Now, this goes back to Floyd Mayweather. Let's talk about the people that hate him. Like, this guy is 38 years old. He done made $700 million boxing. And now he's retiring. But not even, I don't even think he's ever even got gotten bloodied. He has, like, maybe a little blood come out of his mouth. He has no scars on his face. He spent his whole career barely getting hit. Every time he boxed someone, they have the lowest percentages they've ever had in their career when it comes to landing punches. And people want to get mad at him for that. You know, it makes no sense. Like, people want to talk about how great, like, Manny Pacquiao is. And I'm not knocking Manny. I really enjoy him. But Floyd made him look like an amateur. I'm sorry, Floyd. If you can't hit a guy, you can't blame the guy for not getting hit. If you watch his, watch his fights, he is ducking punches. He is moving in spectacular manners. Floyd is a very technical boxer. And for me, I enjoy watching that. A guy that doesn't get punched and punched back. You know, here's what a commentator said when I was watching it. They said the reason Floyd isn't knocking people out, if you notice, he doesn't plant his foot. When Floyd punches, he's already on the move, and he's not getting as much power behind his punch. Floyd isn't going for the knockout, and every Floyd fight goes like 12 rounds because he's going to sit there and he's going to technically, you know, be sound the whole fight. And that's the one thing about Floyd. He's not in a rush to beat you. He picks you apart, and he wins by the decision. Someone said he runs around and gets the decision based on his name, and that's not true because you still got to hit people. If Floyd had lower punch percentages and he just ran the whole time, and he wasn't hitting people, he wouldn't win the fight. So that's my rant about Floyd. I don't know what you guys think of that, but look at this. Your boy is 37-0 with no effort. I'm not in a rush to run out there. Even though we have a big league, yeah, I can run out there and try to wreck him. But why? I'm just holding steady. I'm keeping this hill down. Look, nobody's going to come this way. They're afraid to come to the back of the hill. Basically, what I do when I get into a game, I establish no, no rush routes. And look at that team. Ooh, those noobs. Nobody got over five kills. But anyway, tell me what you guys think. Go ahead and drop that like. If you're new to the channel, hey, turd. All right, I'm out. Let's go.